Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve logic gates. The main gates for logic gates are and, or, nand, nor, not, xor, and xnor. And I'm going to show you how to solve a hard question, which is this question just here. In order to make the table, you would normally type every number in the sequence possible for the amount of numbers needed. In this case, it's four. But in an exam, you would not need to do all this. I will give you the table required. To solve this logic gate, you must use a table. This is the table we must use for this particular logic gate. So, in order to use the logic gate, what you've got to do is find out what x, y, and z are using the variables a, b, c, and d. So we can use these and substitute these into the equation. So if a is 1, then x must automatically be 1, because it is an OR gate. So x is 1. And then if a and b, 0, 1 and 0, and it goes into a NAND gate, which means neither can be, so that will also come out as 0. And as that is an AND gate, that will also be 0. So y is 0. And then with z, if c and d are both 1, then if these two are both 1, then that will also be 1, which means that this will be 1. But as both of these together, coming in d and this one, are both 1, then this cannot be 1, so it has to be 0. For, e for the next one, if a is 0, then we have to do the long way around for x, which would be this. So a and b, but b is 1, so that means that x is 0. For y, it would be b and c, and this is a NOR gate, so b is 1, so that would also be 0. And c and d would be 0, so y is also 0. For z, d is 1, which means that z would have to be 0, as it is a NOR gate. For this one, x would be 1, as a is 1. b and c are both 1, so that would be 0. I mean, y would have to be 0. And z would also have to be 0, as d is 1. For this one, a is 0. And b and c are both 1, which means that x will have to be 0. And y, because b and c are both 1, will also have to be 0. And d is also 1, so z will have to be 0 again. For this one, a is 0, so x will be 0. b, c are 0, so y will be 0. And z, because neither of these will be 1, z is going to be 1. For this one, a is 1. So x will be 1. b and c are both 0, which means this comes out as 1. But that will be 0 coming there, and that will be 1 coming in there. Which means that y will have to be 0 again. And for z, we would do the same again. So d is 1, which means that z will have to be 0. And then for x again, if a is 1, then x is 1. And b is 0, c is 1, so y would be 0. And for z, d is 0, c is 1, so z would also be 0. Thank you very much 
for watching and here are the answers.